that nationals from some countries holding valid passports are allowed into South Africa without visas is nothing new. This privilege is afforded to the guest country by South Africa and by mutual agreement. The difference between South Africa and Israel in this relationship is the occupation of Palestine by Zionist Israel. The occupier travels to South Africa without a visa, while the occupied needs a visa to travel to the Republic, a blatant travesty of justice. This tendency for South Africa to apply double standards vis-à-vis -vis Zionist apartheid Israel is not a new phenomenon. In 2009, it was reported that officials of Israel's national airline, El Al, could confront any passenger or passengers at Owar Tambo for questioning, especially Muslims. Clandestine searches of their belongings and laptops were also carried out to identify useful documents and information. At that time, it was reported that South Africa had deported an Israeli airline official following allegations that Israel's secret police, the Shin Bet, had infiltrated Owar Tambo International Airport. Their function was to gather information on South African citizens, especially blacks and Muslim travelers. It was also alleged that Israeli officials were permitted to carry firearms within the public concourse at Owar Tambo. It was also reported in 2010 that after the killing of Mahmoud al-Mabhu, a senior Hamas official in Dubai, Mossad agents made the getaway from Dubai using OR International Airport. Israeli citizens have easy access into and out of South Africa using this key point of entry. That visa requirements for Zionists traveling to South Africa have been waived by our authorities exposes our government's insensitivity to the plight of the Palestinians and their hypocrisy when condemning Israel's apartheid policies. The capture of our strategic key points by Zionist Israel needs further interrogation.